we meet Michael Olunga at the Kasarani Stadium on his way home from school. At 21 years old, he has become the most sought-after forward in Kenya. Having played for Tasca AFC and Thika United early in his career, he remained a relatively unknown but all changed when he was loaned by his parent club a Liberty Professional to Gormahia. He has so far scored 16 goals this season, helping Gorma here to the top of the KPL table. Olunga being doubly marked, but running away from the defender with Benny Kagere in charge well. Olunga puts it in the net in the 46th minute of the game. Michael Olunga puts Gormaya ahead. He was also the top scorer at the Sakafa Club Championships. The most here. The goal by Evans now joining them. The game we play is not easy. It's like a final. Everything, everything that plays with Gorma here, they come, they pull up their socks. So the games are never easy. But I thank, I thank the coach for giving me the opportunity to express my talent on the pitch. And I'll continue working hard because he has really trusted me. So I want to repay his faith by scoring goals. To anyone who has watched him play, there is no question about his capabilities, determination and talent he has shown on the field. Oh, the celebration is a big one on the other side. I think the referee will urge him to come back into the field of play. Alunga, first of all, is my personal friend. And secondly, he's a humble guy and he's dedicated to his job. Mm, that is playing football. That's why he encourages most fans to go to the field. And we know every time he plays, we, we are sure of a win. Yeah, Olunga going to South Africa for trials, that's to some extent it's a blow to fans because most of us believe in Olunga that if he's in the game, he must always win. So, uh, but we are sure Kogalo is a strong team. <clears throat> you know, playing for Gorma here, that's a big opportunity to open other doors. So we are sure in the next three years, Olunga will be somewhere, not even in Kenya. Olunga is tipped to be the best striker for the Harambe Stars, with many likening his pace and skills to that of Kenya's best of all time, Dennis Oliech. But what does he want to achieve? So being the second place, it's a, it's a good place that many will want to be there, but for me it's still not the, the peak because I always want to be the best and I always believe that I'm the best. So I'll continue working hard and hopefully at the end of the season maybe I can overtake the one who is at the top. He's currently pursuing a degree in geospatial engineering at the Technical University of Kenya, formerly known as the Kenya Polytechnic University College. And uh, I, I wanted to go to Mangu High School because I wanted to do aeronautical engineering. So you see Mangu, they offer that as a subject. So that was my passion. But then I thank God I didn't go to Mangu High School. I went to Upper Hill. And then Upper Hill, that's where my talent got discovered in football. So we had a good principal, Mr. Orero. He used to encourage us because he's, uh, he's one principal that many soccer players in Kenya Right now, I have a familiar name, the likes of Marika, Oliet, Wanyama. All those came from, from his hand during their time. He is an alumni of Upper Hill School and says his football talent began way back in his early primary school years. Um, I was around class 5, that was around 10 years, 11 years, around there. So I remember I used to be a ball boy, but then I, I, I wanted to play football. So I was doing, as in I was reading, but at the same time I was playing football. So I just started developing interest in football. So reaching class 8, it was a little bit hard for me because, you know, I was going to do my final KCPE exam and my parents was saying that I was not because I was also a bright student and my parents were saying like I was dropping but then I reassured my parents that I'm going to do well despite me playing football. So at least I managed to get 380 marks 
out of 500. Uh, people normally celebrate you when you are already a star, but no one knows what happened behind the scenes. So I can say it has, it has not been an easy journey. All we can say, Alunga is headed for bigger things in his young career of football.